Paul Pullinger. I'm a partner in Zara, and my background is I've done more than 30 years of management and strategy consulting, principally in financial services, but some other regulated services as well, and I've worked around the world for global companies and small companies. Azara Services is established in the AFIC to help Kazakh companies grow and mature and have access to the privileges and conditions of the AFIC and understand what, how they can operate with gaining foreign direct investment through the AFIC to grow their businesses. And that's across all industry sectors. Principally, um, we've been helping financial services firms to date but actually um, we're also helping agriculture, oil and gas and mining to take advantage of the conditions. With foreign direct in investment firms we are helping them understand how to come to Kazakhstan and how to use the AFIC as the portal to distribute and uh, re gain returns from their investment here. Will and some of my other colleagues have been here within Kazakhstan for about four years now, helping to put together some of the foundations of the FIC and, and working um, at the very early stages of the FIC. And we formed Zara Services two years ago at the beginning of 2018. We all have a background in financial services, regulation, structured financing deals. So it was natural for us to see the opportunity here in Kazakhstan and the importance of um, growth for Kazakhstan as well, especially in today's economic situation and the requirement to diversify the economy here. And the AFIC being established by the government enabled uh, a, a step change potential. And with our global expertise, we thought it was a, a place where we could help AFIC um, is the, what we consider is to be a fourth generation finance centre. It has learnt from, from London, Qatar, Dubai, Abu Dhabi and, and now there's AFIC here in Astana. And we, we chose here because in our understanding uh, of, of the economy and the global economy, Central Asia is actually a good a, a significant growth potential and that's actually even true now in terms of the impact of the pandemic in terms of the UK and Europe China, uh, and China here in Central Asia the opportunity in terms of the industry in terms of um, growth and, and separate migration in Kazakhstan from oil and gas into other sectors and the growth of agriculture is significant and I think that's um, being supported by Asian Development Bank ADB and the World Development Bank looking to seek to grow and increase their investments in Kazakhstan and the surrounding areas. So the AFIC we see is really important as the central financial hub for the EAU and Central Asia as a whole and that's why we're here because we see it as a, a place where funds can flow to improve and grow the economies of the surrounding region. Well for us as, as a firm um, clearly there's some benefits directly which are relevant to us in terms of the uh, tax privileges for um, expats working within the, in the centre and firms registered within the centre but actually how we approach all that work with our clients is to understand what their strategy is, what their rationale is to, to come here to the centre and we align their plans and their thinking to the opportunity which the privileges and conditions of the FIC offer and that can be how to take advantage of um, dividend distribution, i.e. profit distribution to, to themselves or to their partners as bits of JV or how they can use the AIX to raise capital, um, not only within Tengi but in other currencies too. So I think um, we're very focused on understanding the privileges and conditions for regulated activities and unregulated activities. 
and how structuring businesses and firms can optimise the use of the privileges and conditions. And we're seeing uh, more and more people interested in coming here to the FIC and seeing how they can use that for international businesses and international partnerships. The AFIC is the, the natural gateway for the growth of the economy of Kazakhstan in terms of direct investment, but also establishing a platform for the EAU to become a major power region within the world economy.